What are the differences between abjection and psychological projection? This question was asked shortly after I released my first video on abjection, where I painted a grim picture about how abjection functions in the way we order our reality, how it affects norms and customs, relationships, and how it influences bullying, racism, various phobias, and is akin to being a snob. The difference isn't apparent immediately, as abjection is difficult to grasp as a concept. But if we think of abjection in a less negative sense, and take into account how it is a process of individuation, we can then compare it to psychological projection, which is always negative. An interesting starting point are the prefixes of these terms. Ab means away from and pro means substitute. The suffix of both of these terms, which is ject, means to throw. Abjection sits in between the object and the subject. The object is defined as that is that outside. The subject is I am this inside and the abject is that what I am not, which indicates how it is neither subject nor object, but it does inform what the subject is through negation. Kristeva describes how she is repulsed by the skin on boiling milk, which is something of substance, an object, yet it does not have anything to do with her subjectivity. That being said, given her rejection of it, her prohibition of this object, she is defining her subjectivity. I don't like the skin on milk, is talking about an object that the subject is rejecting, therefore it is the abject. By extension, her parents don't mind the skin on boiling milk, and through this abjection, she separates away from her parents as an individual. The abject defines borders and boundaries. We draw a line between our subjectivity and certain objects through rejection. This is the abject. It stems from disgust, vomiting and nausea or biological expressions of the abject. Kristeva asks if we can exist without boundaries or more specifically, can I exist without boundaries? Without the abject, we could not be individuals. We can experience abjection when we encounter bigotry, racism and bullying. We draw a line between the substance and the subject to express our disgust of these actions. Projection, on the other hand, is not based on substance and is subject related. If I personally lie all the time and presume that everyone else must lie from that experience, thereby declaring that everyone is a liar because I lie too, that is projection. It is more abstract and concept based rather than something of substance, material or objective. More extreme forms of projection can be seen from a woman who accuses a childless mother of being a bad mother in order to shift the blame from her own failings, or a religious person measures atheists by their own standards. Projection substitutes and diverts our values onto others to shift blame. Put in even more simpler terms, Projection diverts boundaries, whereas abjection subverts boundaries. Projection causes someone or something to change course or turn from one direction to another and distract someone from something where the abject will undermine the power and authority of an established system or institution. It will overthrow, unsettle and destabilize the presumptuous or of a person or their behavior, failing to observe the limits of what is permitted or appropriate. The abject seeks to be definitive where projection refuses to meet agreement and prefers to confuse. 
This is my attempt to show abjection in principle, where it is a necessary function of our individuality. It defines the self and the other through negation, which then creates the affirmative as a result. The next phase of my inquiry leads to how abjection is related to snobbery and tribalism, excessively defining what we are not can be seen in a negative view, which either produces empathy, in which case transference and projection can become problematic, or tolerance, which is better described as apathy, which is a lack of care about the other, but not being aggressive towards the other, or ignorance and violence towards the other. Projection is something that we are and others are not, the abject is what we are not and others are.